Welcome to the channel. My name is Crawford and this is Virginia's for Lowriders. Today we are not working on the cars. We are actually going out and enjoying some cars. My buddy Justin came by with his Monte Carlo and I have checked the oil for the first time in who knows how long in the Caprice. So we are taking those to a local-ish. It's about an hour drive for us. Rat Rod Show. It's called the Rockabilly Rumble. It's hot rods, rat rods, anything that's pre-85. So we got our 80s poop boxes out and we're about to hit the road. We gotta wait for James to get here. I don't know, it should be a good time. Just to give everybody a little context, this show has been going on for many years now. We've been attending it pretty regularly. Not every single year, but we try to make it to it pretty much every year. This is the first time I've brought a car to the show in a very, very long time. This show is a mix of a whole lot of things. There is the most extreme, oldest rat rods that you can possibly imagine up to the nicest, polished, beautiful hot rods. As you'll see in the video, I try to get decently long videos of every car, but if I recorded every car in detail, this video would probably be about two hours long. I'm going to attempt to upload this with just the raw sounds of the car show, so y'all can hear exhaust, y'all can hear the drag strip, I tried to cut out as much of the music in the background as possible because they have it blaring over the PAs the whole time just because of copyright reasons and how YouTube works. That's what I'm going to attempt. So I appreciate y'all watching and don't forget to do all normal youtube -y things and I'm going to stop rambling so y'all can enjoy everything that we saw yesterday.
always forget to record my own car. Plus, don't forget we got a mechanical bull up here. You want to ride the bull? You think you know what you're doing? Come on up here and mount that thing and do, do what you do right up here on the mechanical bull. Also, don't forget the pit. Kill the battery. Exactly what I want to do. <laughs> All, right. All right, can everybody hear me out there? <laughs> would you rather have me use this? This is exactly what I would like to do with mine.
guys, that about wraps it up for the show. It is the next morning. It was ended up being a very long day. The Caprice did awesome. Justin's car did awesome. Justin towed it down here, which he lives about 45 minutes away. And we drove 45 an hour away. They managed to get like six passes in on the track and we drove it back. So overall, we did, we did good. New batteries in the Caprice. The Caprice runs and drives good. I haven't really driven it very much in like a year so overall good weekend i think between justin james and i we were probably the most excited to see the old man go down the track over and over and over if there was 40 races in total that man raced in 20 of them he was just hot lapping it at lap after lap is the guy in the roadster model a shows like that that mix it up is is pretty awesome we've been going to the to that show, this is like, I have to go back. I'll put it on the screen how many years they've been doing this show, but we've been going to that show year after year for a very long time. The first time we went was probably in, say, like 2015. We brought my buddy's 58 Apache that I built a, a C10 clipped and a Zuzu rear, and I'll put that on the screen. And we've been going pretty consecutive every year since then. It's a cool show. You get to see a lot of crazy rat rods. You get to see a lot of really awesome hot rods and my crappy rat rod low rider thing fits right in with the whole crowd with the faded paint and rust and dings and dents and all that stuff. So it's it's a good time. It's it's a weird break in between going to a normal hot rod show, which is just Easter egg cars and and tons of tweed and the normal hot rod thing or go into a truck show or it's a little bit of everything mashed together with a whole lot of rust in between and this time it being at the drag strip made it way more interesting and as far as the drag strip thing goes all i have is a gopro and it doesn't zoom very well so sorry if you can't see times i i tried to get my best we, we don't normally record drag stuff around here so something different something new new for y'all to see so if you've never been here before, this isn't a normal video for us. I try and throw in a couple show videos throughout the year. Next week we're going to Carlisle and the week after that we're going to Hershey. So it's a couple show things back to back. It gives us a little break from some projects and be in the garage every weekend and get a chance to get out and go blow some money or, well, I guess it's still blowing money even if we're driving, but a chance to see some other things and get some ideas. Like I said with the last one that we did something like this, I'm not totally positive if YouTube is going to flag my videos for the background music that are at these shows or these events. It happens sometimes and it doesn't happen the other times. It's kind of weird. Just whatever that AI thing picks up on. So if there's music dubbed over top of it, that was why. Usually I like to just have the camera going and you get the raw footage and the noises and you could actually hear the cars that are running and all of the things that are going on in the background rather than me just dubbing over top of it with some random YouTube music that is kind of weird. So we've never been here before. Do all the normal YouTube things with the likes and the comments and the subscribing and I would appreciate it. And next week we're hitting Carlisle and next week after that we're hitting Hershey and then we're getting back in the garage. We're probably I've had a lot of people tell me they want me to just start working on the Ranger now. I would like to start the body drop. I want to take the van motor out. There's a lot of bouncing around that we need to do. Let me know in the comments what y'all think if you made it this far into the video. Should we start dabbling in the Ranger? Should we yank the motor out of the van? I know the van won the thing and we explained all the things of why the van this is a little delayed because I have a problem with buying projects and I'm just going to stop rambling and I will see y'all next Sunday like we do every Sunday. So thanks for watching.